I have for you some of the funnest, cheaper and better at the drugstore when drugstore does it better, buy this, not that type thing. Now, I have been recently learning about saying this word right here, and I know it's a really popular word, and I know that's the word that you guys always want to hear. However, when you're talking about different brands, the, some of these brands do not want you to use that word, because when you do, it denotes that they have done a knockoff, and most of the times, it's not a knockoff. Now, there are some companies that do that directly, but most of these that I'm talking about, they're not knockoffs. This is about buy this not that save your money to buy this not that huge luxury price tag but before we get into it i'm going to show you what i wear i always do that if you don't want to see what i wear right here is a timestamp where you can skip ahead and you can just go to the cheaper and better products that we're going to be talking about also we do have a numbering system it is one through however many products we get through today and you open up the description box and you can find products based on the number that was on the screen next to them there will be the link and any other information that you might need about that. So it's easy to shop that way. Let's see what I have on. Otherwise, skip over to the timestamp. All right, I've had this top for a while and I just think it's so cute. I'm just now getting around to trying some of the stuff that I bought while I was down and not feeling that great. And some of it is so adorable. Okay, this has got a cute little ruffle on it. It's over the shoulder and then it ties like a halter at the neck. You're gonna have to wear some sort of an underwire or some support there. I hate underwear bras, but I will link the one that I have been wearing down below for you that everybody raves about. I don't know if it's the best one or not. And then I also have these pants that are dress pants. And I thought they would be so cute, office appropriate completely. You can wear them with a belt. So you could wear this tucked in with a belt. And I do like that it has pockets right here. No pockets on the back, I like that too. Kind of gives you a slim silhouette from the back. But these pockets lay down nicely, which is what I was glad about. And then the leg is completely straight on it. And I am wearing some adorable pointed toe kitten heels. They are so cute. I will show you those up close as I show you the jewelry. Before I show you the jewelry though, I wanted to show you the cute little crossbody bag that I put with it. I have shown this to you before, but I'll show it to you close up. Here's the bag close up. It's got such cute detail on it. It looks like a designer type fabric or it's not really fabric, it's kind of a vinyl on there. It's got this little fox right here as the clasp. And then once you turn it, you can get into the bag and it has some dividers in there. It's pretty small, but I really have been enjoying my smaller bags. So I love this one and I know I've shown it before, but it might've been last year at, towards the end of year or something. So really like that. Here is the shoe that I had on. This is, like I said, it is an adorable kitten heel. You have probably maybe two inches, maybe two and a half inches. So it's not that high. Pointed toe with the suede piping or the suede accent on it. I just think it's so cute. I love the tonal look on there and it gives a dimension. And then it's got the faux leather right here. I really like these shoes. Very op office appropriate as well. And these are so much easier for me to wear than a much higher heel. And yeah, these are really, really cute. The jewelry I know I've shown pretty recently, at least the earrings I have. These are some hoops. They're about, I would say a two inch hoop, but they have the silver on there that kind of catches the light. And I find myself reaching for these almost with every outfit because they just go with everything. And then I know I've also shown you this bracelet before, but it's one of my favorites. And it's just got a cute clasp on it, like a toggle clasp on it. And it's really easy to put on and off if you have trouble with that. So that is everything that I'm wearing. Let's get into buy this, not that, cheaper and better so that you can see this word right here but without talking about that word right here. Usually I do lipsticks very last when I do these videos, but I'm gonna do them first because I have some really great buy this, not that. Now everybody went gaga over the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips and then they came out with the plumping and they are really good. They're really, really good. I have several. I have the plumping ones and then I have the ones that aren't plumping. So what I'm gonna show you that's the cheaper and better is not necessarily the plumping part of it. It's just the lipstick part of it. 
What these are is they're a hybrid of gloss and shine and a super wonderful moisture on your lips, but they also have great colors. And the thing is though, is when you get this on your lips, you're not necessarily gonna see that much of a color, which is kind of sad because, you know, when I put something on my lips, I don't necessarily, see now that one hardly had any color to it. I don't necessarily just want a gloss unless I'm actually reaching for a gloss. So what I want to tell you to look at that is actually cheaper and better are these that are the Rouge Shine lipsticks from Sephora Collection. What I love, love, love about these is you get the shine, but you get a high color payoff. You get the moisture and look at the color payoff. It's so good. I'll make sure that I list these in the order that I put them on my hand down below so that you know. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to get my glasses out. And unfortunately, these have such a small print that there is no way, even with my glasses, I can hardly see. But yes, there is a color that is very much like the first one that we saw. I'm finding that as I put this on, it's smoother. It doesn't feel patchy. It doesn't feel like a lot is coming out of the tube. When you put the Tarte Maracuja on, it's like you feel like you're almost drowning your lips. Whereas this, you feel like I have some control. So these are beautiful. I really want to highly recommend them. And when they're on the sale, I think it makes them something like eight, a little bit over $8, which is come on, close to drugstore prices anyway. I think that if you've been longing to get some Tarte Maracuja, which they're good, they're really, really good, I think that you will be just as happy if you try the Sephora Rouge Shine lipsticks. Now, the other one is just a straight lip gloss, and those are the Natasha Denona, Denona I Need a Rose lip glosses. I really like these. These are the kind of glosses that I do like that are still a heavy enough gloss that you have that gloss on for several hours, but they're not so heavy that they feel like they're going to give you that sticky, nasty feeling when you put your lips together. So I like both of these. They're both beautiful. One is a little bit more saturated than the other one, but to me, the price tag doesn't merit what I see come out of the tube. And what I mean by that is I feel like there are lots of other glosses that you can get. So here's my suggestion for buy this, not that. And that is the NYX Butter Gloss. And I talk about these many times on my channel because I do feel like this is probably the best color lip gloss on the market in the drugstore. It's just so, so good. Look at the pigment payoff on that. Um, I believe that one is uh, tiramisu, and then I believe this one is uh, cream pie or something like that. I will make sure again that I list these for you. This one is super light, but if you like a nude on top of your lip liner, you're gonna like that. And then this one I think is a meringue. I Like I said, I'm not 100% sure, but I will make sure that I list them for you below. Just wonderful, amazing payoff on these where we're talking about, you know, I think these are around $25 for a Natasha Denona lip gloss. And we're talking about $5, $6 for a NYX butter gloss. To me, that is just such a no brainer. Years ago, Anastasia Beverly Hills came out with this Amrezy highlighter. And I can't bring myself to get rid of it because it is so beautiful. And it isn't exactly my color, but the color of it when it gets on your cheeks is just stunning. It's one of the colors that you really feel like just brings a lot of life to your face without any texture whatsoever. And even putting my finger through there, it just feels so soft and so easy to blend. And I loved it. I wish that they bring it back. I wish that they had 10 more colors. I know they came out with one color afterwards. I didn't like that because it was a dual chrome and it looked really fake on my mature face. But I went in search of something to replace this. So we can't buy that anymore. So I'm not going to say buy this, not that. This is cheaper and better. Rimmel has a highlighter that I had no idea was even out there. I didn't even know that Rimmel had a highlighter until one day I was on Amazon and I'm looking, I'm like, oh, that's so pretty. And then when I looked at it and I put it on my hand, I'm like, Oh my goodness, this highlighter from Rimmel might be a half a shade lighter than the shade, than the Amrezy shade from Anastasia Beverly Hills, but barely. And no fooling, this formula is every bit as good as the Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's really super soft, and yet it's really super high beam and really super pretty. And I just, I love it. So I do have one or the other on either side. 
and obviously once it gets on the cheeks you can't tell so this is the Amrezy and this is the Rimmel it's just beautiful and when this was released I believe it was like around $40 and the Rimmel one I'm not exactly sure but I want to say it's under eight like nine ten somewhere in there that can't be beat, right? <laughs> in the world of blushes, all of a sudden, stick blushes have become the rage. I have two here. One is from Makeup by Mario, and his formula is very soft, very creamy. It's a little bit more emollient, a little bit more creamy than I would choose. And then I have one from Anastasia Beverly Hills that is a little less, it is a little bit less creamy, but when you get it on, it blends out very easily. They're beautiful. Everybody is coming out with these and everybody has jumped on this bandwagon. But my personal pick to replace these were, would be a buy this, not that situation. And it would be these NYX Wonder Sticks. And this one is a blush one. They do have the contour sticks and the contours have one on one color on one side, the contour color. And then on the other side is a highlighter. But with the NYX one, you get a duo sided now these seem to be really matte to me but i like that because number one i feel like makeup by mario is not as pigmented as these are and i also feel like these stay around a lot longer than the makeup by mario one does the anastasia is kind of a tie as far as longevity goes but as far as pigment goes these are definitely brighter and the fact that you get two colors instead of just one i think that's awesome as well so this would definitely be my pick for buy this not that in stick blushes now let me just talk to you about the glow wish primer from from Huda Beauty. This came out and everybody was just absolutely enthralled with it. And it is nice. It's a beautiful primer that doesn't have any silicone or any oil in it. And I don't know how it does it, but when you start rubbing it onto your face or wherever you're going to put it, it really does blur. You can feel the hydrating start. I have to apologize because I had a fan going to keep my camera cool, my camera's been overheating and I had a fan going. So if you heard background noise for the, through the first half of this video, I do apologize for that. And now the garbage men are here. So yeah, we're just, we're batting a thousand, but that's okay. So back to the primer, the Glow Wish primer already, even though I got quite a bit out and rubbed it on my hand already, I can feel that set down and it feels that I can feel a smoothness on there and it just really is blurring and hydrating and everything at the same time without having any silicone so it's not going to clog your pores if you have that problem no oils so again you know you're not going to produce more oil if you're oily but a long time ago i found this product from hard candy and it's the sheer envy pore defense primer that's the 12 hour pore refining minimizing pores the appearance of pores oil free and silicone free now this is not the same consistency i'll tell you that right off the bat but i'll tell you why i enjoy the hard candy better than the glow wish when it comes out of the tube it's very thin it's got this very thin formula to it but the viscosity as you're working with it or the way that it feels on your skin as you're working with it, it's much more hydrating. And the other thing that I love about it is that as soon as you get it worked in, it's going to have that blurring property. It's going to have that smoothness to your skin, no oil, no silicone. But in my opinion, you're going to have more hydrated skin with the pore refining benefits. Now you could probably see how this one on this side already looks like it's dried down. And this one looks like it's still got a lot of moisture on it. That's true. That's the whole point of this whole thing. I need to rub it in just a little bit more. I put two too much on is what I did but it's really nice once it gets worked in once you've pressed it into your pores you're going to love it especially if you're a normal to oily skin person it really is a buy this not that this is cheaper and better and I like that neither of them have oil or silicone I love that about them but if I'm gonna buy one I'm gonna buy one that is a little bit more hydrating and that one is the hard candy one when we get to the cheaper and better everybody and their mother is going after the same formula that Charlotte Tilbury's flawless filter has that primer is a glowing primer that still fills in the pores and still gives you some hydration
hydration, but it goes underneath your makeup and helps your pores, gives you a glow. You can mix it into your foundation and get a glow as well. It's just a really nice product and everybody has been trying to duplicate it. And so in walks Kosas and they're trying to do the same thing. Now, I think this is a nice product and the reason that I even think this is a better product than Charlotte Tilbury's is because this has a huge amount of skin loving benefits in it. Go ahead and take a peek at that when you go look at this product yourself. It does have a lot of skincare in it and that's what Kosas is famous for. Any makeup you buy from them, anything you get from them, you're gonna know that they just chalk it full of skin loving ingredients. So that's really good. But hook on to my very favorite, and I've been saying this for like five years, the L'Oreal Gloomy Glotion, this one is in light is so much better of a product if all you want is glow. The thing is, is that this also has dimethicone in it, so you're gonna get some blurring there. It does feel a little bit more hydrating once again, but man, oh man, I feel like that is so much more glowy than the Kosas. Even if you take the Charlotte Tilbury and you do the same thing side by side comparison, you're going to see that the L'Oreal is so much better than the Charlotte Tilbury. And it is so much better than the Kosas too. So I, I've gone through tube after tube of this, whereas the others I'm like, yeah, I kind of like you, but you're not my favorite. I just, the L'Oreal is perfect for giving you that lit from within candlelight glow skin. You can wear it on top of your foundation as just a lit from within look ethereal look you can mix it into your foundation it does mix really well with just about every foundation except for if you did have a silicone free foundation it might not mix too well with that just because it does have silicone in it but i've never found a foundation that it didn't mix well with and as far as what kosas just released i would still go for my l'oreal and I was sent this one, so you know, I'm completely unbiased when it comes to this stuff. Okay, one of my favorite high-end foundations is the Fenty Beauty Ease Drops. I feel like for a mature woman, this is a thin enough product with enough coverage that this in the summertime is what I reach for mostly because it's super easy to put on. It just seems flawless really quickly and it's just really pretty. The only problem I have with this is the shades all seem to run just a little too warm. Recently, L'Oreal repackaged, I don't know if they reformulated it, I think that they did reformulate the True Match Foundation, and this has so many shades, and you're gonna be able to find a cool tone shade. If you're a cool tone like I am, or neutral, you're gonna be able, or the deepest, I love that too. They go really, really light, and they go really, really to the deepest colors. I love that. They've done such a great job at that. And I am actually wearing this all over my face today. I didn't even use the Fenty Ease Drops because I'm kind of getting to where I just love the way that the True Match looks. If they did reformulate it, I'm happy that they did because it's incredibly beautiful now. But if they didn't, they repackaged it with a pump bottle. And I think that has drawn so many people in because it just becomes so messy when it's just a bottle that you tip out. So really give this a try again if you have tried it before and if you haven't tried it before i think you're going to love it as a mature woman because it does lay very pretty on my skin and i have texture and i have a lot of places that i need to even out so yeah give it a try you might really really enjoy it and as far as it being better than the fenty i would say it's more along the lines of equal so we're talking about a cheaper product that you can get that's equally as nice it's really pretty. One of the liners that I have loved since it very first came out is from Lancome and it's the Tint Eye Doll Liner. The reason that I like it is it comes to such a really super fine tip and it stays on all day. I don't have a problem with it. I'm not gonna swatch it for you because when my hands are kind of shaky today, so I'm not gonna swatch it, but I'll tell you that the Maybelline, this is the Ultra Thin Pen Liner, and this one works better for me because it's even thinner and it stays on every bit as long as the lawn comb and as far as we're talking price tag oh my goodness so you're getting the product that is very comparable almost the same thing you know it performs the same way but you're also getting that price point that really gives you a break in your budget let me find the exact name so you know what the maybelline one is maybelline hyper easy brush tip liner so that's what it is and they're both in black 
so pretty i really really think that this is a very comparable product in this instance this is a buy this not that so love those all right that is it for today's video i hope that you did enjoy seeing all of what we aren't going to say anymore <laughs> i really enjoy bringing these videos to you these are some of the funnest ones that i have because i know that there is such great makeup at the drugstore that we can substitute and it look every bit as good are there any of those substitutes that you would like to tell me about down in the comment section i would love to hear that from you how's your day going mine's going really well we have finally i think crossed over that hump where we're into spring now it's going to end up turning like blue blazes and be hot outside all the time of course but i hope that you are doing well and that everything is going good for you please come back around in my next video so that i can see you because i love seeing you guys and speaking with you thanks so much again i love you much and i'll talk to you very soon goodbye my friends